G'day guys, so we're out here at our release site. We're just about to release what is possibly one of Namibia's rarest snake species, which is the Anchitas or Angolan Dwarf Python. Um, these guys are endemic to Namibia and southwestern Angola, and pretty much they grow up to a max length of about 1.5 meters. So this is one of the two python species we find, the other one being the southern African python, which is the largest of all of the python species we have here in Namibia, and of course the dwarf python. So these guys live in rock cracks and crevices. Uh, usually this is where they tend to hunt for small little um, mammals like dussies and rodents and other rodents. And what's really cool about these snakes is obviously they that they don't have any venom. And like all pythons, they have very sharp recurved teeth, which they use to grab hold of their prey. And then they coil around their prey and they start to, to exert a bit of pressure. And this pressure would basically cut off the blood supply, the animal's heart would stop. And from, this point, uh, from that point in time, the snake will start to consume it. Now, the easiest way to identify dwarf pythons is that they have this really caramel, this uh, caramel brown coloration with light brown mottling on the back and you can also see the head, look at the head shape the face looks like that of a puppy dog that's usually what what I like to call them and pretty much you know with age they tend to become lighter in color as well now what we're going to do is we're just uh, going to release them in in some rock cracks and crevices just behind us and then hopefully this guy um, you know he will be safe from poachers and uh, also from predators like with most of uh, our smaller python species here in Africa, a lot of people tend to collect these snakes for the illegal pet trade. But another big threat that faces dwarf pythons would also be habitat destruction. Now currently in Vintuk, there's a lot of people, you know, that are currently building roads and they're cutting through pristine habitat. And a lot of these snakes are disturbed and unfortunately they disperse and they tend to end up in people's homes. So let's quickly release him. Come up, pause.